Well, a new locally owned pharmacy has opened up in order to provide for its community. And Fox 14's Brianna Medina met with the pharmacy and talked to some local residents. With COVID cases on the rise, people are looking for more locations to get vaccinated, which is why Parkway Pharmacy South is a locally owned pharmacy that is bringing convenience to the community. Based on the need in the community and um, especially with uh, the COVID flu and uh, these trying times, um, we were able to survey around the community. Um, we saw that there was a very persistent need of a pharmacy in the Richwood area. Before the pharmacy opened, they talked to local residents to ask what was needed in the community. This led them to provide free deliveries, vaccinations, and other medicines. But overall, the community was just excited to have a pharmacy close by. For one, it's on the south side of town. There's not a lot of pharmacies on this side. Um, a lot of people that live in this area that do not have transportation, so that's you know a great thing to have one in the community where uh, some people that walk and ride bikes don't have to travel far. Um, and then with, you know, health being on the rise, a pharmacy is a place you can stop and pick up vitamins and things like that. So I think it's a great, great thing. After just being open a couple of weeks, Parkway Pharmacy is looking forward to being a part of the community. For more information on the story, go to myalchemist.com. Reporting for your weather station, I'm Brenna Medina. In El Dorado news, masks must be worn by all students, faculty, and staff while inside school or school buses. Masks do not include neck gainers or bandanas. The mask policy is updated at each monthly school board meeting. This policy will continue until the school board feels it is no longer necessary for the safety of students and employees throughout the district. Well, Louisiana residents no longer have to go to the casino to place their sports bet. Yeah, that's right. I know I've placed my bets already, and Fox 14's Bryce Oslin spoke to residents about placing their mobile bets.